PyCharm and VS Code are both excellent tools for writing Python code. However, both are different. Note down the difference between them. Let's get started. Hello, welcome to Code Poker. In this video we'll discuss which editor is best for writing Python code. First of all, make sure that PyCharm and VS Code both can be used for writing Python code. But there is difference between them. The main difference between them is that PyCharm is an IDE. While on the other hand, VS Code is a code editor. You can write code in any language on VS Code. Let's see some aspects of each other so we can easily differentiate between both. Pricing. JetBrains PyCharm has three editions. For one, the professional edition for individuals costs $89 for the first year, $71 for the second, and $53 for the third year onwards. The professional edition for organizations costs $199 for the first year, $159 for the second year, and $119 for subsequent years. The PyCharm community and Edu edition both are free. On the other hand, VS Code is an open-source project and is free for commercial and private use. Features like version control, third-party integrations, and bug tracking come out of the box with VS Code. Regardless of the type of project or language you intend to write with it, VS Code does not come with pre-installed plugins and extensions. You have to install these manually. Memory Consumption Downloading the community version of PyCharm requires about 359 MB, which probably doesn't seem like a lot. However, when I run PyCharm on my system, it consumes about 400 MB of memory, which is significant. On the other hand, VS Code is exceptionally lightweight, requiring only about 76.2 MB to download and consuming only about 40 MB of memory on computer. Code Management Code management in PyCharm is more difficult as compared to VS Code. It is because PyCharm is an IDE and more complex interface than VS Code. As the conclusion, you probably can decide yourself which editor you should install or use on your computer system. I've discussed some major aspects about both. Now you can decide that which software is reliable for your needs and obviously for your system. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you got your answer by my video, then please hit the subscribe button and push the bell icon to get latest news and updates. See you in the next video.